Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the all of Mat file transfer from your camera, which I'm uh, using right now, which is the M50, straight to your phone. So it's a really cool feature and you can use it for a lot of different situations. So I'll show you guys right now. So before we get started, I'm gonna assume that your phone and your camera are already connected via Wi-Fi. And if you don't know how to do that, uh, check out my video I made last week right here in the card and I'll show you guys step by step and how to do that. But once your phone is connected to your camera, all you're going to do, it's really, really simple, is go to auto transfer and just hit auto transfer. Now, every time you take a photo on your camera, it'll go straight to your phone, it'll download straight to your phone. Um, me personally, I like the full image size, so you can uh, turn that off. So you just go back and then you'll see that little word right there it says on. That means the automatic file transfer is on. So now I'll go on my camera, my M50, and I'll take a few shots and you'll see it um, automatically download. Here, ready? And you'll see it, saving image straight to your phone and you can open in your photo app or in a linked app. But then from there, that's pretty much it on how you um, set it up. You can view the images on the camera. You can see all the media that you have on the camera already. And then you can go to it. And then on this little button right here, you're just gonna hit download. And it's simple as that. You can have the screen off and still be taking pictures, you know, doing that. And when you open your phone, it'll be downloading those images. This also works for raw image files. So if I go to my camera, change the format of the photos, and I change it to raw, if I take a photo, it works. It downloads it straight to your camera as a .cr3. Now there are limitations to this. You can't shoot raw plus JPEG. It'll only send the JPEG file over. And it doesn't work for video. You're gonna have to manually go in and download the videos yourself. You're gonna have to go to the image transfer and then the video that you want, say this one, you have to go and manually hit download. And it'll be, you know, downloading. So this is a really cool feature. Say you're um, taking photos um, out and about and your friend tells you, hey, can you just send me those photos when you when we get home? But no, you don't need to wait till you get home because if you set it up where it's automatically transferring all your files straight to your camera, it'll already be in your gallery. So from there, all you have to do is just send it straight to your friend. You don't need to wait home, put the SD card in your computer and upload it to your computer and then to your phone and then send it to the person or any other um, arrangement of how that works. It can go straight to your phone and straight to whoever you're gonna give it to. So it's a really handy feature. And I only found out about this probably like yesterday and just thought I'd make a video of it for you guys. So that's about it. So if you guys have any other questions about the automatic transfer, leave it down in the comments below. And if you're able to get it to work, and even if you didn't get it to work, leave me down in the comment anyway and tell me what didn't work and I'll try to help you out with it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Check out my Canon M50 guide playlist for other videos all about the M50. It'll be in the description. It'll be somewhere here on the screen. But yeah, my name is Freely. Uh, I make like travel videos sometimes. I also talk about cameras. If you like what you see here, consider subscribing. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.